Today wasn't too bad actually because it was still a breeze. I mean, we like the breeze. The breeze is the breeze and we need the breeze. Does that make sense? you just like, what? <laughs> Day 27! Okay, so on the menu for this morning is chicken and chips. Um, my mother's amazing, bless her, I'd be lost without her, I'm telling you. So after I'd finished vlogging on day 26 and I was saying I'm gonna head on upstairs and go edit it, mom if you need me I'll be upstairs. Um, she goes, oh by the way I marinated some chicken for you, um, so make sure you put that in the oven in the morning for sehri, which I thought was really, really sweet. So I've got chicken drumsticks at the moment. Um, my food's in the oven cooking and I'm really excited to eat it. So I've eaten and I'm gonna head on upstairs. Um, I've just said my prayers and I'm gonna get some rest and sleep. I've just been feeling really chilled out because I know that I haven't got work the next day. So it's like, I've been taking my time to eat. I've been taking my time to like go upstairs and I've just been kind of sat watching friends and just having some Taz time and chilling out. Um, it's very warm tonight. And I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little bit cooler, but I'm gonna check. Today wasn't too bad actually, because it was still a breeze. I mean, we like the breeze. The breeze is the breeze and we need the breeze. Does that make sense? You just like, what? <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm gonna head on upstairs and get some sleep and I will see you guys real soon. Morning guys. So it's half past day and um, I'm awake. I'm awake, so I'm gonna head on downstairs and just see what's going on and just kind of sit and relax for a bit before I decide what I'm doing today and how I'm feeling. Um, I'm still kind of in sleep mode, so I need to wake up properly. Um, and I will see you guys in a bit. So my day so far has actually been quite productive. Um, I have tidied my room a little bit and sorted that out. Um, you never realise how much stuff you actually have until you actually start going through and you're just like, whoa, when did I even buy that? Um, so it's like that situation right now in my life. I'm going to kind of leave it halfway now because I'm I'm, I'm tired and I'm, I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm just going to kind of rest up a bit. On top of that, obviously, I was up at eight and I went to bed at like four. So I'm quite sleepy. So I might catch up on some kip later. And then we'll see how I feel after my kip. Um, but it's a lot cooler outside. It's quite breezy. Loving the fact that it's a lot cooler. It just, it's just a great help when the sun's not out in full force as much as I love the sun you know it, it it does make it a little bit harder um but yeah that's my day so far really glad i've got time off work it it makes me smile from ear to ear okay guys as you can see it's nearly time the sun is setting so we can eat soon um that's gonna be day 27 done like that's crazy when you think of it like that i feel like they're just flying by now um as obviously it's nearly time to eat you guys know the drill i'm gonna go and have some task time and i'll see you guys in a bit to the prayer room okay so that is day 27 um complete alhamdulillah and it's just crazy even saying it because in a few hours time we're gonna be going into day 28 and it's like what where has time gone i'm, I'm just got so confused overall today's fast was interesting and it was interesting because i was actually hungry all day like my tummy was rumbling all day. Like it wasn't just, you know, how with the other fast, you just, we just used to get hungry about 12, 1-ish, you know, usually lunchtime. I was hungry the entire day from the moment I woke up and it was a little bit difficult, but health-wise, alhamdulillah, I felt okay. Um, my mum was laughing at me because I said to her yesterday, I kept banging on about mum. Don't be waking me up at like, no, 6.30 or 7 o'clock going, don't you need to go to work? Because I got a day off tomorrow. And she was like, all right, don't worry, I won't wake you up. Come back at 8 o'clock, I'm strolling down the stairs. She went, what are you doing? I went, I couldn't sleep. Which is like, so much for having a sleep and I want to know. Um, but yeah, she was laughing at me about that. It, it was nice to have time off. I think with how hungry I was, having time off was a good thing because my concentration level was pretty much non-existent. So it was nice to just kind of laze about at home. I pretty much did nothing today. Um, I tidied my room a bit, sorted that out, and then I got tired. So I kind of left it halfway. The hoover's still plugged in and it's just all over my floor. Um, so I need to sort that. I need to sort my life out. Um... Other than that, it was pretty much a chilled out lazy day. And I feel like we all need days like that in Ramadan where you just kind of chill and not do anything. And it was just nice because I felt like my body was kind of catching up with being tired and it being constantly go, go, go. It, it was nice to just kind of wake up and not have to rush off anywhere, not have anything to do. And just enjoy the fast really um, and enjoy the month of Ramadan and, you know, catch up with my prayers. So that was quite nice. Um, I'm a little bit sad when I open fast today because, like I said, that's day 27 done. 
we're going to be going into day 28 and every time they get towards the end they just fly by so i'm a little bit sad about that but you know inshallah i look forward to completing this amazing month the vibe around ramadan is just completely different to other months i've said it before i'll say it again it's just the vibe is just totally different and i think that's what i'm going to miss like, i'm really going to miss ramadan i'm going to miss you know having the camera attached to my hand every hour of the day and my family just kind of walking past just not even being fazed by the fact that I do stuff like this so like sometimes I'll be doing this and my mum will just be walking past casually like behind the camera and she, she you know it's normal it's normal in my family now and although to let you know I'm going to continue with vlogging after Ramadan I'm going to be working on some projects as well which I'm going to share with you guys um obviously during Ramadan it was literally Ramadan diary so it's basically focused on my fasting and how it's going and what I get up to um my other vlogs will just be daily life me running around with the camera being silly and um my projects will obviously be things that I'm working on. So I really, really look forward to sharing that with you guys. I feel like we've grown as a family as well. Like I'm hearing from people that, you know, I don't know on a personal level yet. You guys are messaging me and I'm conversing with you guys. And you know, it's really, really nice to kind of interact with you guys on a different level. Like I'm reading the comments and I feel like I'm getting to know you guys a little bit better and you guys are getting to know me. Um, but yeah, I look forward to obviously continuing this family vibe that we got going on right now um obviously after ramadan as well so i'm gonna head on upstairs edit and upload this vlog for you guys and i'm still thinking what to have for sehri so we'll see what i actually come up with um but bye from me for now <laughs>